What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video, we are actually talking about the Nintendo Direct from E3 2019. And honestly, this is going to be a crazy video. I'm going to be running through almost all the games that were brought to life and we're going to talk about some really cool stuff. Now, if you are noticing something different, that is the background. Now, I'm going to do something kind of weird when I kind of go into talking about the Nintendo Direct. I'm going to actually play it behind me and you'll see me talking and all that with everything going behind me. So that is going to be a really cool thing that I wanted to kind of try out, see if I could do something new that you guys would enjoy. So what I will do now is turn that on and bring out my cell phone. Now my cell phone has a list of almost everything that was talked about that I want to talk about in this video. Now I know there were a ton, a ton, a ton of games brought to life, but we're going to start from the beginning and make our way all the way to the end and capture some of the awesomeness that is coming to Nintendo that they brought about in this year's E3. Now the first way to start it off was that Super Smash Brothers slash Dragon Quest 11 kind of mashup. They brought some characters from Dragon Quest 11 and brought them into Smash. Now I liked it because they didn't really show kind of just them doing Smash. It kind of got you thinking like what is this gonna be? Like I was like okay maybe this is Smash, maybe this isn't until it finally hit and then you were like this is Smash. The next thing that I liked about it was the funny Bowser skit. Now Bowser comes out and starts talking on screen and you're like we don't understand him but then Doug Bowser comes out and was like you're the wrong Bowser it's me not you and he's like oh and then he tries to go and they're like no that way and he's like oh and then he's like oh sorry for the mix-up I'm Doug Bowser Nintendo of America blah 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 he goes into it I thought it was very funny I liked how they played on that now I hope they don't overplay that because I could see that happening too but I think that is a very cool thing for them to do now going into the next thing we're talking about Luigi's Mansion 3 that looks very awesome being able to play with more people looks very cool some of the things that they brought about in that was very awesome and so I thought that was very cool because honestly Luigi's Mansion is a very fun game and they were somehow able to bring more fun to it and more different things that are very awesome and I think it's going to be a very fun game. Next is Link's Awakening. Everyone knows about this game. If you don't, I'm sorry you're missing out. This is a very awesome game. Now they're remaking it. It was on the Game Boy and now they are remaking it for the Switch which is absolutely going to be amazing. I saw a picture of the Amiibo and I was like, I need to buy that. Then, I saw the special edition, which had a Game Boy Steelbook. Like, that's pretty wild. Now, I saw people talking crap about it and hating on it. It's the internet, what would you expect? But I thought it was very awesome, and I thought it looked very cool. Next, we've got Trials of Mana, which I was, like, kind of confused about. But then, I was like, is that a Secret of Mana thing? Oh, but then they're like, Collections of Mana, only before in Japan, now it's released. And I was like, oh, that's very cool. That's gonna be very cool on the Switch. Then we saw Witcher 3, which, Witcher 3 is a very great game. It is very cool, very awesome, and wildly cool. I wanna see how it runs on the Switch. Now the story is very great, but I don't know how it's going to run on the Switch. And I hope, I hope, 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 somehow Panic Button is involved because they'll port it over very perfectly, so. I hope that happens, if not, we'll see how it goes. Next we've got Resident Evil 5 and 6 coming to the Switch, which is pretty cool, I saw that. And they kind of made like a little skit about it, of someone like going to a haunted place and playing it. It was kind of cool, it was kind of drawn out I felt a little bit, but I'm not going to complain too much because of what we got out of it. It looks like it's going to be very awesome. Then we got No More Heroes 3, which looks cool. I think that's going to be a fun game. I've never actually played any of the No More Heroes games, but from what I see, they look enjoyable, and I feel like I would love them. So I'm going to have to get my hands on the other two and then get the third one on the Switch and play it because, honestly, it just looks that fun. Then we got the Contra Collection. I think this is going to be very awesome. I love it because it is that retro style or retro stuff 
coming in to the present day and that is something I think Nintendo Switch does the best is grabbing those nostalgic 8-bit and 16-bit games and bringing them to the Switch or just bringing new games to the Switch. I think it is very awesome and very cool. Then we got Daemon X Machina. I don't really know if I even pronounced that right honestly but it looked like a lot of fun and I felt like I could enjoy that. But then, then Nintendo hit it hard. Something that I didn't expect, I saw it on the screen, I was like, is that what I think it is? Yes, Panzer Dragoon, that's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to play that on my Nintendo Switch. I know a lot of you probably watch RGT85, and honestly, he loves that. And so I thought of him instantly, but I also thought about how long I can, I have to wait. Well, that's only till winter. That's very quickly. This game is coming out very soon. Now, it is like six to eight months away, but that's still pretty soon for never hearing about it. So I thought that was very cool. Then we got a little bit of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Nothing crazy, but it was Pokemon Sword and Shield, so that's kind of cool. Then we got this weird looking game called Astral Chain. I thought that's definitely going to be a cool game to pick up. Now if I pick it up when it releases, probably not, but I'll pick it up later on and it'll be really cool probably. Then we came out with Meta Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Nothing really came out of that honestly. It was just kind of a trailer that didn't even really show any gameplay and so I was kind of disappointed in that to be honest. I would have liked to see more, but we'll see if they flesh out the story and if it's a fun game. I hope it is for sure. Then we got Cadence of Hyrule, which is very cool. I think that's going to be a fun game to play. Probably a shorter game with the kind of the, the graphic styling and the artwork. I feel like it's probably going to be a shorter game, but it'll be a good game for sure. And then something that I actually called. I called something. Mario Sonic Olympic Games. Now, I didn't call Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, but I said, I'm hoping we get a Nintendo game that is a Mario sports game. We haven't got one in a while. We got Mario Tennis, but that's about it. So, I'm definitely excited about that. I will be picking that up on the Nintendo Switch, and I am very, very excited about that. Then, the Peace Day Resistance Animal Crossing. Now, I'm not a huge Animal Crossing fan, but it looked like it's gonna be fun and kind of an awesome game to play, so I will probably pick it up when it comes down to $40 in six years because Nintendo never drops their prices. But moving on, moving on, we're gonna go through these next games very quickly because they didn't really talk about them, they showed them a little bit and then moved on very quickly. They showed these games, Spiral, which looks really cool, Hollow Knight, Silk Song, I think that's what it was called. That looks very cool. Nino Kuni, um, the second one I believe, that one looked very awesome. Minecraft Dungeons I talked about in the Xbox E3 presentation and that was very cool. Elder Scrolls uh, Blades, I don't know anything about this game, but I talked with one of my friends and he said it's kind of a basic game and I don't know if it'll be worth it having it on the Switch. If it's like $10 maybe, but more than that, I don't know about that. My friend Pedro, I have not played that game, it looks interesting, I'll probably pick it up on the Switch. Doom Eternal, which is going to be another thing that I hope Panic Button does. Uh, we'll see if that comes to the Switch and it looks good, if not, I might be getting that on the Xbox One. We'll see about that. Same with this next one, Wolfenstein Youngblood. If that comes over to the Switch and it looks good, I'll pick it up, if not, I'll pick it up on the Xbox One, obviously. Dragon Quest Builders 2, which is a cool game that I like to see, honestly. And then Stranger Things 3, which I'm very, very excited about. That looks like it's gonna be a blast to play. It is kind of in that 8-bit, kind of 16-bit era, and it looks very fun, and I love the, the TV show, so I'm gonna be playing that one for sure. Then they have Super Lucky's Tale, which is a cool game. I've actually never played it, but I have it on the Xbox One. I wanna play it, so I'll either pick it up on the Switch and play that or play my copy. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Then they briefly touched on Super Mario Maker 2, which they just showed a train, uh, like gameplay of it slash trailer of it. They didn't really hit on it very much, so I think that's something we'll definitely need to dig into a little bit more in the future. And then they pan and they go to Donkey Kong with Diddy Kong and King K. Rule. They're kind of chilling out. 
and then they look out the window to see what's coming and it's uh, the duck hunt dog and bird and you kind of think it's Banjo and Kazooie and then it comes out as the dog and the bird from Duck Hunt and they're like, oh, we got you, we got you. And then, bam, drops down Banjo and Kazooie, which I thought was gonna happen, honestly, when I saw the first one when it was the Duck Hunt. So I know Nintendo's being very good and they're kind of trolling people, kind of trolling people for like a split second when they do this. It's the second time they've done it and it's been pretty good each time. So that was very awesome. But the best thing to come from this E3 presentation was Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Which means I'm just gonna have to spend more time playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. Until that comes out, of course. But I'm very, very, very excited about this game. Now the first one is actually probably one of my favorite games, if not is my favorite game. So you'll see me definitely talking about that a ton when that comes out. I will probably be streaming it after I've finished it the first time at least. And then I'll make videos about it and talk about it and have so much fun with that. I am very, very excited about that. Honestly, I am very excited about almost everything that they talked about in this Nintendo Direct. So I'm very, very pleased with that. So with that being said, I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below what you thought of Nintendo's E3 Direct and what all you thought you loved and what you hated and what was missing. So with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification because it lets you know when I post more videos. With that being said, one more time, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you have a good day.